welcome to Beverly uh, where it's snowing it's just the first bit of snow we've had and uh, I've come out of it because it's exciting we don't really get much snow in Beverly but I thought I'd show you around this is the market square and over there's the bandstand uh, but a lot of these buildings are quite old and you won't see McDonald's or Barbecue King here any, anything like that because the locals won't, don't want it because it spoils the look a bit posh around here you see but uh, we do have those kind of restaurants at McDonald's There's, they're all outside, on the, outside the town on the outskirts but in town nothing ugly everything has to be pretty everything's listed you can't mess around with the look of the place or the locals have come down on you One of my pet hates is white vans. Especially because one crashed into me last week. But I'm no fan of white vans, I think they're ugly. Hideous looking things. But God, this is, uh, this is nice in the snow, Beverly. I'll take you over to here too. I think it's called St. Mary's Church. I'll take you over there now. The snow's really coming down now. I'm forward to that, I'm gonna show you this little bench, which caught me out the other day this is it it's just a normal bench really but it's got a glove here and I was like oh I should report that to somebody it's a leather glove it's not a glove it's actually carved into the bench or cast into the bench attached to the bench or welded to the bench Beverly in the snow Yeah, St. Mary's Church in the snow. At least I think it's called St. Mary's. I did go in this church once and had a long chat with a lady in there. She was saying there's a head. Something to do with a head of somebody, some royal person within the building somewhere. Someone who'd been beheaded. That's interesting, there's no sign to say, there you go, St. Mary's Beverly. Just see it down there. Three. There you go, the parish church of St. Mary Beverly. There you go, confirmed. Here is the, uh, well, it's a water pump. It's just been restored actually. And uh, I don't think it's original, but People would come along and pump the water into a bucket. There'd be a few of these dotted around. And this is where you got all your water from. In 1881, there were some 40 public water pumps in Beverly. I have an estimated 300 private pumps in town. This is the sole surviving public pump, which is a 19th century example here in North Bar within. The snow's melting now. It's not resting. I think we've got about two or three days of this, so let's we'll see what happens. That building over there looks very old. I imagine it is. Likewise that one. Whereas these ones over here in the corner, 
have more of a Georgian feel so they'll be like modern and the gateway you see ahead I'll tell you a little bit more about that when we get there so these gates guarded the main entrances to Beverly there were several this is the only remaining one it was built by the town council in wait for it 14.09 at a cost of 96 pounds And as we travel through the, uh, the gate, I'm just going to show you how down there all the houses become a little bit more modern because they're all outside of. That's, I'll be North Bar without you see. It says on that sign North Bar within, North Bar without. We don't go out there, we stay in. Back to North Bar within. Of course, Beverly's pride and joy is the, the Minster. Uh, this is Beverly Minster. See so the Yorkshire Walls nearby, the blue sign. Walkington, Cottingham. And there's the Minster. Currently getting some scaffolding roof work done on it, I think. In the best tradition of being me, I'm going to find some information out about the minster for you, save you the bother. Don't worry, I'll just do it in the snow and the cold. You stay nice and warm. Let's not let you get even remotely uncomfortable. Archaeological excavations of, of, of burials in that church date back to the 700s uh, and circa 850. So the church was there before then, or maybe not in its present condition. But certainly, kind of like it. This is one of the largest parish churches in the UK. I know you can't see it now because it's disappeared behind the, the snow and sleet, really. It's, uh, I think, one of the best. As you can see, the uh, snow is coming down at 45 degree angle. Everything in my life is 45 degree angles. Uh, so how does this sound to you? Uh, recording the audio straight to the top of the GoPro here. No microphone and uh, <laughs> struggling to see where I'm going. And I'm absolutely loving this snow myself. I love it. It just looks so amazing. Ooh. Well, that pretty much concludes my tour of Beverly. Hope you enjoyed it. I uh that's where I'm going. I know I did. Not able to get out into the country so much at the moment, into the countryside. Uh certainly not in this, though I would love to do it in this. <laughs> I would definitely get lost. But uh yeah, this is where I live, this is the town that I live in. It's kind of a you know, there's lots to see here, lots to do, but I'll be interested to know what people think of the place what sort of feel do you think it has does it look old-fashioned it's certainly a big change from London and uh, I love it here although if I could I would move further out into the countryside I think but uh, yeah there you go Beverly now I'm off home for a <sighs> nice hot cup of super strong per call coffee put my feet up and get back to doing subtitles for Amazon Prime. So, thanks again. <laughs> got, got a snowflake in my mouth. <laughs> thanks again, and uh, see you next time. Goodbye.